Hello and welcome back to another episode on Life Afloat. Today's video is going to be all about Daisy. Um, there's been a lot of interest in Daisy since she's been sort of featuring in my videos and the walks that we go on and that sort of thing. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video all about her um, and answer some questions about her which I've got written down here. So that's what this video is all about. If you stick around to the end of the video there'll be a clip that I add on to the end um, and it's going to be of Daisy doing what she absolutely loves to do and enjoys absolutely most out of anything. So if you want to see what that is, stick around to the end. Um, it's quite entertaining if you like dogs and you like Daisy, you'll probably uh, have a bit of a chuckle at, at it. So um, yeah, stick around for that. So to start off with, Daisy is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. She is two years old and she's been living with me for the last eight months. Um, her colour is Brindle. For those of you who are interested in what her sort of official colour is, if you like, it's brindle, which means very dark brown with lighter brown sort of markings. And then under her chin, put your head up, put your head up so they can see. Well, she doesn't want to show you, but under her chin and on her chest, she's got like uh, some white markings. So um, that's, that's her colours, brindle with white markings. Um, unfortunately, under her chin, actually, she's got a bit of a bald patch where her collar has been rubbing on her fur. So now and again, we, we take a collar off during the day, but we take it off at night as well, just to give her fur a bit of a chance to grow back. But it doesn't seem to be working yet. So she's got a bit of a bald patch under there, um, but it doesn't seem to bother her. She loves playing. She's a really, really good girl. Um, she's super friendly, very chilled out. And yeah, she just loves company and loves playing and likes to chill out on the sofa with me. So I get asked if Daisy is a rescue dog. She's not officially a rescue dog. Um, I spoke to a few rescues and some of them wouldn't rehome dogs onto a boat. Uh, the ones that didn't have a problem with that, they uh, didn't really have any dogs suitable that would match my sort of circumstances. So. Um, I went looking online and found Daisy. She came from a family who were separating. And they no longer had time to take her out for walks or to play with her or anything really. She had no toys. She was very bored in their house. She wasn't getting exercised. Um, she was only going into the garden to do what she needed to do and, and that was it. She wasn't going out apart from that. So she started misbehaving a little bit. She started chewing things around the house. Um, so they weren't particularly happy with her, which wasn't Daisy's fault. She had all this energy built up. She was bored. She wasn't getting any sort of mental stimulation or anything. And that's what dogs do. They start to try and entertain themselves. So um, yeah, so they were looking to rehome Daisy. So I went and met her and we got on all right. I have no idea what she's doing at the moment. I think she's trying to... What are you doing? Are you eating your foot? Why are you eating your foot? Yes, that's your paw. Um, so, yeah, I went and, and met Daisy and we got on well and I took her for a little walk around the block and, um, yeah, decided that I should offer her a home and they were they were happy with, with me having her, so brought her back and uh, that's how she sort of came to be on the boat living with me really which answers another question that I've had. Um, I've been asked how she's adapted to living on the boat. Well initially it was a bit tricky for her getting on and off. I think she had a bit of a confidence issue hopping on and off of the boat so I was carrying her on and off. Um, I built her a ramp out of some leftover timber and plyboard that was on the boat um she didn't like the ramp so that didn't work so i got rid of that and then she eventually has learnt to sort of be able to hop on and off and now she's just she jumps on and off with no problem whatsoever um she's quite happy to do that um in terms of cruising when we're cruising now she will stand out on the stern with me or sit out on the stern 
she doesn't like being inside the boat when it's cruising i think she she doesn't like the movement and the vibrations and the the noise from the engine so um she likes to sit out with me on the stern and she's absolutely fine um so that's that's where she sits when we're cruising and we don't really have any issues just when i'm going through locks i put popper in the engine room and close the um the stern doors behind her i leave the sliding hatch open um and she just sort of sits in the engine room and and waits for me uh, i don't want to risk her falling off the boat in a lock or anything like that so i make sure she's secure inside the boat in the engine room um and she seems all right with that i've been asked let's have a little look um how is she with your daughters she's amazing um she's just like another sister it's like they're three sisters to be quite honest with you they love her to bits she loves them to bits and um yeah they just chill out together they play together she's absolutely amazing couldn't ask for a better dog to be quite honest and then my final question that i've had about daisy is where does she sleep she has a bed um and she just sleeps in that all night she doesn't try and sneak up onto the sofa or onto my bed at night she knows it's her bedtime and that's where she sleeps and she just stays in there until i get up in the morning or if the girls are here um if one of them gets up then she'll wander over to them uh, to say good morning and that's it she will just stay in the bed until somebody gets up so she's really good so that is all the questions answered that i've had about daisy uh, if you've got anything specific you want to ask uh, ask me about her or you want to know then feel free to mention that in the comments what i'm going to do now is just play that little clip that i mentioned um, towards the beginning of the video of daisy's favorite thing to do this is a clip in the garden of my sister's house uh, where you will see my brother-in-law playing with daisy uh, and yeah this is her favorite thing to do So there we go, as you see, she enjoys playing around uh, when somebody's got a hose pipe. She loves being squirted with water and she loves to try and eat the water as it comes out the hose pipe. Um, bit crazy, but yeah, she absolutely loves it. So it's ideal when it's a hot day as well because it cools her down quite, quite well. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. That'd be fantastic. Lots more videos coming up featuring Daisy. Lots more boaty videos um, and just all round good stuff, really. If you're on Facebook, I do have a Facebook page. If you could click like on that, that'd be brilliant. I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's just life afloat on Facebook, but I'll stick a link in the description uh, as well as a link to... Um, a group called boat vloggers so if you like these sorts of channels uh, boat channels then join boat vloggers and you'll find loads more um, we all sort of go in there and post links to our new videos and chat and interact with you and that sort of thing so it's it's quite good if you enjoy boat vloggers uh, and i also have a patreon page which i'll stick a link to in the description below as well so feel free to check that out if you're interested in supporting me or the channel but until the next one thank you for watching take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon cheers